Hello, my name is Mike Rayner, and this video is how to install PuTTY Secure Shell Client into a Windows 7 computer. The outcomes for this video would be to download and install PuTTY Secure Shell Client onto a Windows 7 computer, discuss how to obtain the IP address of the SSH Linux Unix computer that you'll be connecting to, and finally to log into the Linux Unix computer using PuTTY. Requirements would be a Windows 7 host or a guest computer, a Linux or Unix computer with SSH server installed. This video uses a Raspberry Pi. Internet connection and local area network LAN with both computers on the same LAN. Additional info, you can go to the PuTTY download page. Now notice here it is C-H-I-A-R-K, not PuTTY.org. PuTTY.org is owned by a competing product, even though they do have a link to this page. There's a written information here at Adafruit's Raspberry Pi Lesson 6 using SSH. This is real good. And then finally, I've got another video here that talks about connecting boot and configure Raspberry Pi, which shows how to set up SSH on the first install. And disclaimer is, while I've researched this material, I can't fully verify that it'll work with all combinations of hardware and software out. So I've been asked to include a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop the video and read the disclaimer. This is the official website for PuTTY, www.chiarc.greenend.org.uk. There's also another website, putty.org, which has a link to this site, but it's not an official. It's a competitor actually sitting on putty.org. Here we are at the home section, and then go to the download section. Got the PuTTY download page. The file that we're going to download right here is a Windows installer for everything except PuTTY Tell because essentially all we really need is the SSH and we're going to use PuTTY point uh, the installer exe so click on it and we will save it. It says PuTTY 0.3 installer exe might have been moved or deleted. I'll try a retry. It seems to be working. Let's go view the downloads. And there it is. Let's just click on run. And it's going to ask if you want to allow the following program to make changes and click yes. And then next and it has to put the program's putty into C program files putty. Click next. Click next. And here it says, do you want to create a desktop icon for putty? I'm going to say yes. Make it for all users. But I don't want a quick launch icon for putty, the current user only. I don't want it down my quick launch. It also has any .ppk files you click on them, they'll open up with uh, Putty Gen or Pageant. Basically, we're not going to be using these right now. And this video actually doesn't cover the private and public keys. You know, you've got to make your own choice there. And I'm just going to just leave it as it is. And then I'm going to install. Click Finish. And here's the README for Putty. So you can go ahead and read that. I'm going to click close right here. I'm going to click close right here. And then I'm going to go to start. Oh, it's right here it is. On a previous installation of Windows, I had to uh, restart Windows to have it show up on the menu bar. Let me close. But it's also installed on the desktop. So what I'm going to do now, and just because my experience with Windows, I'm going to restart it. And then when it's restarted, log into my Raspberry Pi computer. One way to find the IP address of pretty much any Linux or Unix, or uh, in this case, Raspberry Pi computer, is to go to the terminal. In this case, I'm using Raspberry Pi, so I 
click on the terminal open it up what I'm going to do here is change my preferences make the font a little bit bigger and change the font well let's make it uh, not too big we'll just change it 24 okay close this and what I'll do here is do an if config hit enter and then it will give me the IP address in this case it's 192.168.1.15 again the way you have to do this is log in if you don't know the IP address of your machine you're going to have to use a monitor to to get this information. Here we have Windows restarted. Enter the password. Good all programs here and here's PuTTY. So I can start it. There's a PuTTY manual pageant and we can start it from right here or start it from right here. In this case this is a putty configuration and if you click on the help file you'll get a pretty uh, extensive help manual with a lot of uh, information that you go through it as you use putty. So I'm just going to close that and basically I've found the host name uh, or the IP address. There is, I, I'm not using any host names because I don't have a domain name server on this network and it's 192.168.1.15 port number should be 22 for SSH this is SSH and if you want to save the settings you can put a name here and then click save and you'll have to do that before you start anything because after you exit from the Raspberry Pi computer or whatever Linux or Unix system you're using the close window on exit is going to be it'll close if you have a clean exit so we'll go ahead and open the connection and the first time that the connection is opened you're going to get the server's host key cached in the registry that is the Windows registry that's where Putty puts the host key. And then, you know, you can gives you this. If you want to have this information, we'll just click Yes. And we'll log in. In this case, since I'm using Raspberry Pi, I, this is insecure. I'm using default. So here we go, Linux Raspberry Pi. Let's do a sudo apt-get update. Just show you that. Oops, let's spell it correctly. That's apt-get update. It will go out and get get uh, all kinds of updates. So you know that we're actually in the Raspberry Pi computer and actually working with with it we're not going to go watch the whole thing I'll come back when the update is done now this Raspberry Pi is really not upgraded it's just going down and going to the web and seeing what package it needs to upgrade just like in Windows it calls in the Windows update in this case you do an update to get find out what packages you need and then do it upgrade now I'm not going to do an upgrade, but I'm going to log out here. One thing I want to point out is do not use this X to close, because that will leave your server hanging. Instead, use log out. In this case, it's Raspberry Pi. One that you have to use is log out. Some other Linux or Unix systems might uh, use exit. Hit enter. And that's pretty much it. Thank you.